So I think growing up without a female figure was not a good idea, not a, not good at all. Now Elon wanted to set up a company, and then I said to Elon, "Well, he has to wait for Kimball. If if I'm going to send anything, which I will do, of course, whatever I can, send money to him. They must, you must wait for Kimball, because I won't be able to do it twice." I remember going to one party one evening, and I arrived in a suit. I I always used to say, "Look, I can't bring anyone, but I've got because I've got to bring Elon." At that point, Elon was saying, "Me alone, can't leave him at home." And I'd uh, come probably straight from the office and I'd take Elon and still in his uniform, school uniform. On this occasion, I went to this chap who also had a horse stud, a very, very well-known man. And after the meal, he, he, he threw towels at everybody and said, all right, off with your clothes. And uh, we're all getting into the pool and the jacuzzi and all that sort of stuff, you know. And so everybody did that. And I had to take Elon to a library and say, just sit here, you know, of course, within a few minutes, everybody was stark naked, and it was quite weird being with these socialites and being in front of a, an elegant woman saying, oh, you can go out with me next Saturday if you feel like it. And I thought, well, why would I want to go out with you next Saturday? I've already got everything right now. Both my brother and myself and my friends were very uh, red-blooded males. We all had lots and lots of women, and many of them were worth marrying. But, you know, you keep on looking for the one you think will be the best or or should be the one, or the one, let's say the one that catches you. And so though they were quite happy. I do remember bringing one girl home, which I thought was smashing. And I said to, uh, I didn't ask the boys, but uh, Kimball came to me after we went in. I said, she's coming to stay with us. She's going to stay with us. She left her husband. She's coming to stay with us. I've seen, he, he's learned a lot about women. He, you know, he used to have an ideal about women. And, you know, to him, women were like the ideal, the perfect human was a, a woman. And he's now learned over the years, that woman can be quite devious and quite cheating and quite unpleasant. Uh, he's learned that. I think women are the center of everything. I mean, women, without women, nothing makes any sense at all. I would say to women that they need to realize how important they are in terms of the homemaker, the, the nest maker, the, 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 the safety zone. A family is represented by a family. A father on his own, which I had with Elon and Kimball, is not a family. A father and two sons are not a family. A mother and two sons is a family. And so it's very difficult to be mother and father when you're a father only like I was. Elon has had some children with in vitro. Well, and he's had children with one woman, I believe, with in vitro. I haven't met her. And he's been living with another one. So, I mean, the children later on, children ask questions, you know, later on. They still have to experience that. Why did you do this? Why did you do that? Children are very critical. And I've experienced that with them, with, towards me. And so they always had that approach to everything, you know. I'd say it began with me and then grew from that.